Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is learning from Boeing's WannaCry infection. Last week, you may have heard the news that Boeing was allegedly infected by the well-known ransomware WannaCry, which spread all over Europe and then the globe last year. You probably remember WannaCry is something we call a ransom worm, because besides infecting one computer, it also uses network exploits to spread automatically over a network, specifically by using a NSA-leaked server message block or SMB vulnerability. In any case, last week, word leaked out that Boeing, uh, at least one of their North Charleston locations, was infected by WannaCry, this old, almost a year old ransom worm. Now this generated a few headlines, largely because the whole leak was due to some sort of internal memo where some person was actually talking about this infection in pretty severe uh, language, saying that uh, the infection had metastasized beyond just North Carolina and seemed to be downing some other locations as well. Now since then, Boeing has actually released a, a press release about this, basically saying that the attack didn't stop production at all, it wasn't that big a deal, and it hasn't infected many locations. Nonetheless, I thought it would be interesting to talk about this for one reason in particular. First of all, in truth, we don't really know for sure if this ransomware was actually WannaCry. Because this was all due to a leaked memo, we don't actually have hashes or samples. You know, Boeing hasn't shared that information at all. We have to presume that the incident handlers inside Boeing uh, correctly identified this as WannaCry. So the big question that came up when the world heard about this was, why is such a big company that presumably has good security uh, being infected by such an old, well-known piece of ransomware, one that you should have many protections to actually prevent. Now, one good reason for this is we still haven't caught the actors behind WannaCry. Some allege that it could be North Korea or a nation state actor, but in either case, the hackers that created WannaCry are still out there. And if you follow ransomware, these threat actors often make new variants of their same malware. So without knowing all the details, for all we know this could be somehow a new variant of WannaCry, which looks familiar, but perhaps spreads using new mechanisms. It will be interesting if Boeing ever does release any information about the infection that we might be able to learn from. However, the real practical tip, or the thing I want to talk about, is presuming this really is the old version of WannaCry, why would a big company that, that has security be affected by it? And that really comes down to the difference in certain industry verticals that have operational technology networks. So think of people like Boeing who have manufacturing lines, or think of critical infrastructure like oil pipelines or energy systems, or even think of healthcare organizations that have specialized equipment. As you can probably tell, this problem all comes down to operationalized Internet of Things devices. We talk a lot about how Internet of Things devices are just computers. Now often these are things that don't look like computers, but are really running an embedded Windows operating system. And because of this, they're just as vulnerable to many of the attacks out there as any other computer. Now, worse yet, those verticals I talk about, critical infrastructure or energy, manufacturing and healthcare, they are often using equipment that only changes every decade or maybe even longer. Sometimes these systems are running very old versions of operating systems, and worse yet, they run some sort of proprietary software where they can't update the systems because the software they need relies on some old version of Windows or maybe a very specific version of Linux. On top of that, even though the security industry knows that we need to patch our normal computers very quickly, they may be afraid of patches. All of these type of systems are either business critical or in some cases life critical. So they need uh, six nines uptime. They, they really don't want patches breaking their systems. So this is actually a classic problem for certain verticals that have these sort of systems, ones that are very, very critical, that have to be 
up all the time, but actually do run very old and outdated software. So anyways, what I'm building to is presumably if this was a manufacturing network that first got infected, even though WannaCry is old, even though uh, you can patch the actual SMB flaw it uses, it's theoretically possible that their manufacturing devices on their manufacturing floor use old software. So anyways, that's really what I wanted to talk about. While it is a legitimate problem that these sort of uh, industries have, this is a problem we need to solve fairly soon. Now, some of the solutions for this is air gapping. The whole reason energy networks should be air gapped is if they're running outdated software, vulnerable software that you can't patch, you better remove them from the network and make it harder for malware to actually get to that network. On top of that, you can use security systems in front of these systems to help try to find these flaws. For instance, intrusion prevention might be able to stop the SMB flaw from exploiting an old version that it's targeting. However, all that said, this is really something that the industry needs to come together and solve. As the people that make these very proprietary and yet life and business critical systems continue to operate, they need to find a way to allow for patching long into the life cycle of these products without the, the risk of downtime or any sort of problem. Anyways, just thought it was an interesting story. If Boeing does ever release any technical details about whatever infected them, we'll be sure to share it. But if you do run any sort of network, manufacturing, healthcare, or a critical infrastructure, I hope this is a problem you're thinking about because it is one that could affect you. And it's one reason that very old worms like uh, WannaCry can still infect your network. That's it for today's news. Thanks for watching.